Sal, come closer. I have something to show you. Oh, gross. Oh! I know you touched my pony. <laughs> hey, I'm Warburn, and welcome back to Sally Face. This is episode two. It just came out like a few days ago, and I just finished episode one, and it's an amazing game. Let's start this adventure again. So we're outside, we're at young Sal, young Sally, and the artwork is just as amazing. I guess this is my mum. Don't wander so far, sweetie. I want to see the doggy, mum. Can't you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But I really want to see it. Please. Please, can I go pet the doggy? Oh, alright, Sal. Just give me a second to get my purse. Then we can go together. Yay, I'll wait over there by the trees. So we're gonna go pet Mr. Doggo. I don't know where we're gonna be waiting. A bit of sci-fi music sounding. Where's this doggo, man? I just want to pat him. Let me pat the doggo! Oh, there he is. In the bushes. Holy crap! So, he doesn't look like I have a mask on. And it kind of looks like the doggo ripped my face off. Or something. Man, this music is so good as well. Oh no. Oh no. What's all this? Skeletons? Holy crap, what the hell happened here? Who the hell's Mrs. Sanderson? Thank you so much for coming to help me out with the toilet! No problem, Mrs. Sanderson. I have it. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful! Herman normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately, his fingers have turned into banana peels! What the hell? And the street corner is just so dangerous! I understand. Thank you so much, Larry! What? The bathroom is just over there? I'm Sally. Did you just call me Larry? You crazy woman! Is that the bathroom? What the hell am I unclogging in? Holy crap, that's a big bathroom. Let's go out the plunger. Oh, Jesus! Okay, so the toilet just ate me. And there's an eye over there! Kinda looks like a Jacksepticeye. I wonder if that is actually what it is. What the f*** is this? Pony! You there? Please, help me. What's wrong? The water. It stopped. So thirsty. Don't worry, I know how to fix this. Please, hurry. Okay, so this weird pony needs our help. And we probably have to climb up here. Are we like inside the sewers? Is that how we're gonna actually fix this toilet? This is bloody strange, man. Bloody strange indeed. What's this area? Switch! That does nothing. Let's climb up the second ladder. So am I actually in the, like, the toilet pipes? That's kind of gross. Ooh! There's a switch. Oh, uh, will we have to do this like in order? Uh, I bet we will. I bet there'll be a stupid order to it. So I did that one. And then I'll probably have to go all the way down to the bottom and do the third one. What's the bet? That'll happen. Where is this switch gone? Switchy switchy. It worked! I knew it. Puzzle King. Sal. Ah, nice clean water. Whoa. Okay. So that didn't go well. And I'm going to leave now. Oh, wait. I should have gone the other way just to, just to double check. Look. 
Oh! Murderer! Oh no, the mum! He's been murdered. Is that the mum? Like Larry's mum? Let's get out of here before someone thinks it's me! Oh, this is a crazy view. Like, like fisheye. Uh, let's just keep walking into the darkness. Kind of looks like a loading screen. Sal, come closer. I have something to show you. Oh, gross. Oh, I know you touched my pony. <laughs> I thought we were friends, Sal. <laughs> oh! It's all a dream. It's all a dream. That's good. Zipper face. Episode 2. The Wretched. Woo! Let's do this. Man, you're still having those nightmares. I haven't had them this bad since right after my mum died. I really think it's this building. There's something off about it. Dude, I know, you're so insistent about- what? Insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. I've been here for most of my life and I haven't seen any ghosts. But... But... But what? Well, we've known each other for a while now. I'll have to show you something. Oh god, is it his penis? Come on! Oh, back to his room. Ooh, that's a nice painting. Kinda looks like a ghost. Can I just leave? I need to follow Larry. Ah, oh, god damn it. Let's follow Larry. Uh, talk. Ready? Sure, why not? I love the mask. I'd love to get like a toy of Sal. I just love toys. I'd love to get toys of everyone. Whoa! How come you never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. What, in the damn snow? It's my fortress of solitude. Okie dokie. He's got a nice little treehouse. Awesome. And I guess he's gonna go up there and gonna show me his penis. Because that's what people that look like that do. This is so cool. I always wanted a treehouse when I was younger. Yeah, my dad built it for me, but he, uh, disappeared. Ooh. I'm not trusting Larry at the moment. Wait, what? What do you mean, disappeared? One day he was here, and everything was okay, and the next day he was just gone. No, 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 nothing. And all of his things were still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license, everything. He just disappeared. Damn, I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard that is. Did your parents not get along? No, my parents loved each other. They hardly even fought or anything. It isn't what it sounds like my dad didn't leave us. Even if that's what my mom chooses to believe, I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you. So what do you think happened? Look, you know I'm not generally superstitious, and I know you and Chug swear that the apartments are haunted, but... Well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. Please trust me. The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers, and they told me so many times to wait for them, not to play with them on my own, but I just couldn't resist, dude. I lit a few out back, and one ended up in Mrs. Gibson's open window. It killed a pet rabbit! Oh, come on, Larry, Jesus Christ. Oh man, that's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Mrs. Gibson, and she was screaming at me like crazy, as if I needed another reason to piss off that old bag. I felt horrible though, that poor bunny. Anyway, as I was coming down in the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. The... what? The demon? He reached down and touched me. <laughs> he touched him. I got this super cold chill down my whole body, and I was scared shitless, dude. Dude. I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came, just as the doors opened. He cursed me, 
Because of what I did, he cursed me. Everything in my life was f***ed. After that, my dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. <laughs> I missed so much school, I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? I know it sounds... What? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Miss Sanderson, everything. Whoa, hold on, man. Even if there is some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happens. It's not all your fault. Mm, da, 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 da. What did this demon look like? It was like nothing I've ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty, but had a form of a man. And the eyes were the worst part. These deep red eyes that pierced right through you. Holy shit. What? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. No way, when? I swear I've seen it in the building, just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How do we do th I'm gonna... Okay. I'm gonna change his, his accent to an English accent. How do we do that? I don't know if that's very English or not. Maybe there are some clues around that could help. We can try it. We can try to find out... We can try to find out more about the ghosts. See if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I've got nothing to lose. I think I like the English accent a bit better. Let's investigate. Look at the picture. What the hell? That's strange. What is that? What are you, what? I found this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the Lost and Found box a while ago. I think it reacts supernatural. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. That was one of the last pictures we took together. Not long before he disappeared. <laughs> mm, I better keep looking. Yeah. Better keep looking. What's in the cabinet? Nothing useful in here. And the chest. Ooh. A bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines. Seems like Larry's dad is the opposite of my dad. The magazines are all old from six years ago or more. Doesn't look like anything too useful though. Let's see what else is in here. Looks like you've got a jacket. A worn leather jacket. There's a couple of old concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's where Larry gets his taste in music. Seems like a nice way to bond. I don't think I've even watched a concert on TV with my dad, let alone go to one live. I guess uh, her dad didn't really do much with her. And we have a... what? There's some kind of weird small box in here. Looks like it's sealed shut. Fake. Let's show Larry. What's in the box? I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. It's some kind of puzzle box. Never could figure out how to open it, though. Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh, yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. Cool conversation, man. Just let me know if you get it open. Of course. I'm not going to let you know, though. So I have the card, the Game Boy... The walkie-talkie, and now I got a puzzle box. Was there anything else in that chest? Ah, there's nothing else. And uh, there's nothing over here. Let's leave this weird treehouse. Let's go, Larry, walking in the snow. I wonder if Larry's the killer. I have a feeling he might be. Well, they want you to think that he is. Does his room just go out to the outside? I'm going to look around and see what else I can find. Okay, sounds good. I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. You know what? You know what I need? I need to find out what's going on. Let's leave. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Who's Megan? Can I get in? Oh! I can get in here now. Hey Lisa, feeling any better today? Oh, hiya Sal! I think today might be the worst of it. Once I'm over this hump, I'll be right as rain. Which is good because there's so much work to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it. Take it easy for now and get some rest. 
Oh, don't you worry about me, Sal. I've been resting plenty and Larry has been so helpful too. I'll be just fine. What's with this like, oh, this music. Do, 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 do. Hey, there's a chest there. Uh, the bathroom. I don't think there's anything over here. So we'll leave this house and then try and find a Megan. I don't remember a, a Megan in the first game. Hey, it's Chug. Chug, what are you up to? Hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack guy to fill the machine. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. <laughs> I hear ya. I like to start the weekend off with video games and cartoons. Don't we all? Don't we all? Did you see the new Rico's Modish Wife episode? Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too. <laughs> well, that was a great conversation. I'm glad I had that with you. You still want to do laundry? Really? Who keeps leaving their clothes here? Well, obviously not you, because you wear the same clothes. Oh, lost and found. Doesn't look like anything I can use right now. Damn it. I thought I might find the other piece. And is there anything? What's the vending machine? Looks like the machine is empty. Yeah, so is my tummy. Shut up, Chug. I don't remember cameras being around here. Let's go up to... Uh, let's go up to my house or my apartment. There might be something in here. <laughs> Look at the cat! Oh, I love him. What you watching, buddy? <laughs> what you watching, buddy? Oh man, that's so good. There's some cat food. Let's try and find Dad. Who's this Megan though? That cat. Oh, he's the star. Dad! Hey, he's playing Minecraft. Hey, Dad. Can't talk right now, Sal. I have to make this deadline for work. Well, that's just bloody rude, mate. You know, I'm trying to have a father-son conversation with you. And you just give me the cold shoulder. Oh, it looks like I'm into music now, too. Or was that guitar always there? I can't remember. I only played the game, like, a few days ago, and I already can't remember what the hell's happened. Who's that? Robert. Yeah, I think those cameras are new. I don't remember those cameras being there. Ah, uh, that's 403. Oh, they boarded it up now. 404. One camera's gone from there. So we're going to find Megan. Who is Megan? We'll go to all the floors and try and find who Megan is. So we've got Chug's place. Chug is downstairs and his parents work on the weekends. Wow, what a life he lives. we got David. Oh, David. Oh, hi, Sal. What chin's up to today? Holy crap, this guy is freaky. Hey, David. Have you seen any ghosts around? Yeah, for sure. The ghosts of my past keep me awake at night. Outs the time. I barely get any sleep around here. Um, what about like a spirit of someone else that used to live here? Sally Yin's gotta lay off the drugs, man. Trust me, you'll have a better life for it. Don't make the same mistakes I did. <laughs> what happened to your pants? Oh well, they're in the worst still, Sarah. We're supposed to go get them at, but we just get talking and Jano lost track <laughs> lost track of time okay see ya mate see ya let's just leave David like completely all by himself college students they're pretty busy right now I probably shouldn't bother them so we've got some new neighbors it looks like I don't know how long it is from the first episode to the second episode who's this Todd I don't really want to bother him right now. He's usually tutoring on the weekend. That sounds weird. I think I remember that room. And 203. The people that lived here moved out after what happened with Charlie. Charlie's old place. Oh, we can go in. There's nothing here. I can't believe he didn't do it though. Ooh. So 
that his house looks like everyone else's house. Man, that smell's still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. What the- oh. So, they gave him the laxative, and he's gone to the toilet, and they, like, cleared his whole house, but they couldn't clean the toilet. That's a bit rough, man. What's on level one? Let's go down here, try and find out who Megan is. Miss Rosenberg's place. Who is it? It's Sal from upstairs. Is there something you want? I just wanted to talk to you. To me? Alright. Come on in then. The oh no, we're going in. Oh, she looks nice. Hello there, Shirley. What brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman? Hi, Miss Rosenberg. I wanted to ask you a few things, if that's okay. Ask away, child. I may not have much left, but time is all I've got now. Yes, time's all I have, and even that'll soon slip away from me. Or maybe I've never really had a grasp on it at all. Such a strange concept, isn't it? Time, sitting here alone, the mind can drift a great deal. <laughs> Whatever. Wondering what's beyond the veil? Get you deep into these thoughts and the world makes less and less sense. Yes, time is an enigma. Oh, but listen to me rambling on. I'm sorry, dear Sally, you had something to... She rambled hard. How long have you lived here? Long indeed, though it's hard to say exactly. My old mind can barely hold on to memories of yesterday anymore. Let alone the distant past. I'm afraid my days are nearing an end. Soon I will return to dust, and my consciousness will merge with the great and mysterious nothing. A void that's impossible for our little brains to wrap their heads around. And trust me when I say, I've tried. Yes, a powerful, dreaded, empty nothingness. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I've been rambling on again, man. She rambles hard. And you have to try and keep up with all the words. What was your question? <laughs> it's okay, Miss Rosenberg. I was asking how long you've lived in the Addison Apartments. You know... I do remember when the Addisons moved here from overseas to construct this building. Actually, this land belonged to my family first, but I decided to sell the Addisons since I was the only one remaining. I thought the company would be nice to have again, someone to share the anguish of life with. I was young and desperate for a new beginning. What a foolish girl I was. You regret selling the land? A life as old as mine is filled with regret, my dear. Though, it all eventually becomes meaningless. Man, she is so... I don't know, I can't really put my finger on this lady. About the Addisons. Whatever happened to the rest of the family? Do they live around the town? They're gone! Gone? Time takes us all, Sally. Poor little Terence is the last of his family. Oh, I suppose he's not so little now, but that's how I see him. As a young boy with a twinkle in his eye and a head full of dreams. Now look at him. He never leaves that godforsaken room. Yeah, why does he stay locked away in there? He went a little kooky after his family passed, if you ask me. The boy was so wound up, he was afraid of his own shadow. Terence worshipped his father and gave up on his dream of opening a tea house in order to run his father's apartments. Slowly but surely, he began confining himself in the safety of his room until one day, he stopped coming out altogether. Yes, despite the cheerful persona he puts forth from behind that door of his, Terence Addison is about as timid as they come, damaged by a life of misfortunes. But aren't we all, my dear? Yes, I suppose we are. Holy crap. Have you ever seen any ghosts in this building? Ghosts? Why in heavens would you worry about such a thing as ghosts? Sally, you're such a sweet young girl. You remind me of myself from another time. Do old Rose a favor. Enjoy your life while it lasts. Don't be consumed by the allure of death and its many secrets. I, man, I can't even keep this voice up. I know, yes, yes, it's quite tempting and very easy to get pulled in. Why you can say we are all ghosts, really? Oh, I, mean, I didn't read that last sentence properly. Just waiting to pass from this place into the next. Such a thin membrane that separates existence from non-existence. With our frail bones and delicate casings, any small misstep could send us reeling into eternity in the blink of an eye. Oh, man. Breathe. See ya. 
Oh, wow. That was, uh, that was brutal. So, we've got, a um, crazy, crazy old lad. I just need to catch my breath. I think Mrs. Gibson would kill me if I bothered her again. Oh, that's that crazy lady. That's right. What's over this way? We've got Addison and 104. I don't think anyone lives here. Let's talk to Addison. How may I help you, Sal? What's with the new cameras? Didn't you and your father receive the invitation to the monthly meeting? Everything gets discussed there. Um, oh yeah, I guess we just kind of forgot about it. That's not a problem at all, though I do suggest you join in on the meetings in the future, if you're able, that is. You see, it helps keep everyone informed and up to date. Anyhow, to answer your question, I've had a new security system put in for everyone's safety. With all the res recent events, the tenants were getting a bit nervous. My hope is that with this new state-of-the-art security system in place, everyone can feel more comfortable in their living arrangements. That makes sense. Thanks for catching me up on that. My pleasure. Have you seen any ghosts around? I love how she just like, have you seen any ghosts around? Oh heavens to Betsy, please don't tell me my building is haunted. The last thing I need right now are some promiscuous phantoms frightening my tenants. I'm having a hard time enough to- What? I'm having a hard enough time keeping everyone happy while Lisa is sick. No, no, it's okay, Mr. Addison. Everything is okay. I was, uh, I'm working on a paper for school. Yeah, that's all. Phew, I nearly had a heart attack there. I simply cannot handle any more stresses at the moment. You're doing a great job. Try not to be too hard on yourself. You're too kind, Sal. Let's get out of here. Goodbye. Good day. Well, we've only got, I think, level 5 to check out. And then we've checked the whole place out. But this is death area. Locked. I should call Larry up here so he can meet Megan. Oh, is the Megan? Oh, so Megan's the little girl. Then he'll have to believe that Addison apartments are haunted. Larry, are you there? I'm here. What's up? Can you come up to 504? Sure. My mum just took her medicine, so she'll pass out for a while. Anyways, I'll be right up. Let's go, Larry. So what is it you wanted to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? Just come on. Idiot. Damn, these fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shut up! What? <laughs> you what? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? I want you to meet my friend Larry. Is she gonna come out? I don't think it I don't think there's anything in here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy. Though I haven't been able to get her to come out in a while now. I hope she's okay. So you come up to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl. How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to a few I've been able to talk to her for I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. Dot dot dot. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm gonna prove this to you. Hey, I never said you're crazy, man. As weird as this is, I believe you. Okay. You're my best bud, and if this helps it at all with finding my dad, then I'm all for it. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling. Dude, dude, know who you should go talk with? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know, and he's also into the supernatural stuff like you are. I bet he could help somehow. Todd, really, huh? I never expected that he would believe in that stuff. He always seems so... Normal? Rational? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. Alright! I'm gonna head back downstairs to make sure my mum's alright. Let me know if you find anything. we Will do. So who the hell was Todd? Now I'm gonna find a damn Todd. Is there anything over the homeless guy? Board is shut. I'd love to get into that room, that'd be cool. Oh, we found Todd's place, 202. Took me a while. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, Sally Face. Hey, Todd. Sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Woo, Ashley. Hey, I'm Ash. 
Whoa! You must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. Uh, uh, me? You have? Oh, he's in love. Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me too. Uh, you too. Um, I mean, it's nice to meet you as well. Well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem. We can work more on algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I'll run into you again soon. Sally face. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. <laughs> Cracking a cold one with the boys. You too. Ah, oh, too late. <laughs> oh, Sal. You are right, Sal? You seem a bit anxious. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm cool. Okay, so what brings you this way? Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What is she like? Her full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman like us and an overall nice person. She has some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. Oh, why did I give it? <laughs> why did I give Sal a, a girl voice? Oh, I'm losing my mind. Sure, I suppose so. If you didn't come here to talk about Ashley, though, what is up? Oh, right. I see dead people. Are you referring to Mrs. Sanderson? No, it's something else. This building is haunted and I'm trying to find out more about the ghosts here. Ah, I see. I need your help. Help me. Thank you for telling me your story. I think I may be of some assistance with your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that an apparition resides in my bathroom. Huh, really? Yes. It does seem to be a strange coincidence that your Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. However, it could also be that the water pipes act as some sort of conductor for them. Though, that is only speculation on my part. Ah, so that first sort of dream where we're going through the pipes might have something to do with it. Do you have the Gear Boy cartridge with you now? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go check out the bathroom. Ooh, what are we going to find in here? What do you usually do to call upon Megan? Does the Gear Boy always light up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, go ahead and try the same thing here so we can attempt to summon the spirit. Hello? Is anyone here with us? We're not going to hurt you. We're your friends. Hello? Is anyone there? I don't think they're going to come. Nothing is happening and the game isn't lighting up either. Hmm, I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your gear, boy. To help better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool, sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify the device's reception, and second, something to boost its electricity output. So, like an antenna and a battery pack? Sure, I'll be in my room once you're ready. Oh, so now we're gonna go find some crap. And oh, it's got a big, got a big bong. Let's check out his room. Todd's parents' room. That's Todd's room. Ah, they're in there. Probably banging. Or doing something weird. What else is in this place? There's nothing else here. So I guess I might have to go down to that lost and found. Down in, I think it's level one. Hopefully it'll let me check out a few things. Was it level one? I don't think it's level one. Damn it. Oh, where was it? I honestly can't remember now. Was it down in the basement? Let's go check the basement. Ah, yes. I think it was down here. Laundry. Lost and found. Doesn't look like anything I can use right now. Oh, maybe I have to go, like, outside and check um, all the crap in his treehouse. That makes sense, yeah? How do I get to outside? I thought I was in the basement. Oh, do I have to go into his room? Keep out! Oh, he's such a, such a rebel. See you, mate! <laughs> go outside. 
let's give this a crack. I might end it pretty soon. But man, oh man, this game is so good. Episode 2, so good. I think there's like 3, 4, and 5 yet to come. Not too sure. But with the second episode, you get the season pass. Let's have a look around. Chest. I got that weird box. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's nothing here. Oh, I don't know. So, I think I might leave it there, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>